And now it's time to continue the adventures of Senor Mustachio and the Fiery Redhead. Loading Cecile. Oh my, here we go. Heavenly herring, delicious dogfish, <coughs> yours for a scrap of goldie. Let us see if you can choose we the finest cheese rates. on your block with a wheel of the good stuff. Cheese? Can I help you? Sorry, but I haven't the time for chatter. These days, a moment's inattention is all a thief needs to snatch my livelihood out from under me. So how about that fish thief? The dead are on the prowl. The counselor's been murdered, and now source hunters are encouraging petty theft. Few honest among us are swimming against the stream. I'll tell you what. What do you know about the undead plague? Praise be that Aru the wizard had the wits about him to build those newfangled weapons of his, or Sicile would have been the very throne of decay by now. Because of him, life here is almost bearable again despite the walking dead. So it's rather eerie and perplexing at the same time to think about how quickly one adjusts to great dangers when a handful of guardians holds them at bay. Tell me about the Legion. If you get bored, you can always engage a Legionnaire in some conversation. They're happy to tell you all about their feats of valor and skill between belches. So what's the latest gossip? We've been waiting for Legion reinforcements for ages now, but there's always some holdup. I'm just ready for things around here to get back to normal. What have you heard about Councillor Jake's murder? That poor man deserved much better. I hope they hang his wife Esmeralda. She's guilty as sin. Can you tell me about the orcs? Imagine our terror when we saw their leader, a great green brute with grimy blood-stained pelts across her shoulders, clamber onto our darks during, the, docks during the last attack. Thankfully, Aru was there to send them swimming back to their makers. Let's see what you have to trade. Quite a bit of gold. Mackerel. Plice. Chubfish. <laughs> Chub. Herring. And red snapper. Alrighty then. Well, it doesn't really look like you have much that I want. And I don't really feel like selling anything at the moment. Or do I? I don't really need... Sword. Don't really need a gold cup. Or a golden spoon. Or a malachite. Keep my beer, though. Keep my apple juice. Why do I have a water barrel? Oh well. Uh, aged leather armor. Is this any good? I'll keep it for now. Right. Is this repair item? Identify item? Alright. 
She accepted. Good deal. Nothing I want to sell there. I will take my leave. Farewell. Thank you, merchant lady. No one has many ah, a named citizen. Oh, hello, love. I stay for a little stroll around the market, isn't it? But it can all be ruined so quickly with vicious brutes approaching one left and right. Are you having problems with strangers approaching you? Well, not particularly, but with Councillor Jake's murder on the loose, one can never be too careful. I'll let my bottom dollar. I'll bet my bottom dollar it was a testosterone-fueled madman who killed Councillor Jake. I'll take Bye. my leave. Uh, let us discuss. That woman certainly was afraid of strange men. Oh, that was Scarlet saying that. <laughs> hmm. How would I like to answer this question? Well, that's her prerogative. Men are statistically more dangerous than women, after all. Perhaps, but letting a preconception ruin a friendly encounter at the market hardly does her any good. Blunt and cautious. No one has as many friends as the man with many cheeses. Really? Well, let's go talk to the cheese, cheese. dealer. Uh, what do you got? Have you spoken with Captain Arius yet? He's in charge of the investigation. There's no better man for the job. Councillor Jake will be avenged, I'm sure of it. Play this gossip. Been played with these horrific undead for years now. Some say they were summoned here intentionally, but I'd say some amateur necromancer let a little experiment get out of hand. Bye! I'll take my leave. Feed a big cheese on your block with a wheel of the good stuff. Let's just go ahead and find the counselor. You know, I don't really remember where I'm supposed to go. Heavenly earring, delicious dogfish. Not in the moon for cheese. Excuse, ah, there's the Legion headquarters. Join the Smud Club if you've got an eye for fine potatoes. Claudius and Mercius. Greetings. Uh, I don't really want to talk to you yet. Alrighty. Legionnaires beating the crap out of each other. Chests. But that would be stealing, wouldn't it? Ah, Captain Arius. Greetings. What have we here? A so-called source hunter, eh? Ah. Look, do what you must in Sicil, but don't make waves and don't interfere with the Legion's affairs, you hear? I've enough on my mind running expeditions into hostile territory. Alright, tell me about yourself. I'm Captain Arius, if you must know, leader of the Legion in Sicile, by which I mean I have the enviable task of commanding a battalion of walking dead, for I fear it may well be but a matter of time before the undead undo all my soldiers and turn them into driveling hordes of their own. Shapen up. What can you tell me about Jake's murder? Gods above, some politician snuffs it and everybody's in an uproar. Ridiculous. I told that wizard brat of an Aru not to bother. But he just had to send for source hunters, didn't he? Bloody magicians, they see pigeon poop and think sorcery's afoot. Nevertheless, I want to be kept in the loop, understand? 
as I am in command of this town, not Mazer, eh, Mayor Cecil, not Aru, and definitely not some hotshot source hunter. So investigate Jake's death, if you feel inclined, but report back to me the moment you discover something is out of the ordinary. The scene of the crime is over at the King Crab Inn. You can tell the guard you have my permission to enter. Now off with you. Uh, in regards to Jake's wife, Esmeralda. Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Well, widow. Everyone in town, down to the crabs on the beach, is convinced she killed him. Now, the girl has a reputation for being a flirt. There is that. But that doesn't suffice as evidence, wouldn't you say? Or do source hunters rely on hearsay alone, perhaps? That certainly would explain some of the cock-ups you lot have made in the past. Cock-ups? Now that's an interesting word. What? You're going to stand there and claim with a straight face? Your order never wrongly tortured and executed anyone? Hardly, but I won't stand for such nonsense. If you bring evidence before me, I'll evaluate it with perfect objectivity. The Legion relies on region, uh, reasoncy, not idle superstition. Let's discuss the undead. Listen, you may be here for other matters entirely, but if there is one useful thing you can actually do around here, it's to stick your nose into the affairs of the undead. The stench will likely make you gasp for air, but between you and me, those seven worthless gods up there, it's about time someone other than the Legion gives the charade a shot. I can only hope some fresh ideas are coursing through the source-obsessed brain of yours, and that they will take root before the undead scoop those same brains from out of your shattered skulls. They seem to be a bit weaker in the west, a good, as good a place to start as any if you want to flex your muscles. I'd like to talk about some matters concerning the Legion. The Legion is none of your concern, but fine, go ahead. There's some sailors looking for work. Perhaps there's a place for them in the Legion. Are you daft? I need soldiers, not sailors. Who cares if they can tie a knot and blow a god-stamped whistle? Or do you simply want the undead to get free food, huh? Is that it? Let's discuss the expedition's hostile territory you mentioned. The bravest of the brave went out looking for the source of the undead. Volunteers all, those men? For that is the pact we made. The walking dead spawn in endless number, but someone or something must be responsible for each and every one of the miserable buggers. And that is why the Legion is making renewed efforts to locate this accursed fountainhead of death. Cool. Too long have we been on the defensive. It is time for action, even if it claims more Legion lives. Souls of steel to a man, my soldiers. They fight by the lighthouse, they fight by the burial mounds, and they fight by the old church. Gods grant that they may find the rotten root from which those scuffling monsters spring, and that they may fulfill their missions. So in regards to the lighthouse... There's a lighthouse to the west, up on the bluffs overlooking the sea. No man has gone there in a decade, and yet a light shines forth from its pinnacle every night. The locals say it's haunted, and if there's ghosts involved, maybe necromantic magic is to play it well. Is in play as well. Half a dozen legionnaires have gone to find out. So far I can but hope they are safe. So about the burial mounds. There are ancient funeral grounds all over the place north of the city. Good as place as any to start looking for necromancers, wouldn't you say? Doesn't exactly take a genius to figure that one out. Some local archaeologist offered to tag along with the men. Here's hoping his knowledge on the subject may prove to be a boon. Let's discuss the old church. There's a church to the northeast of here, built atop the very place where once stood a temple dedicated to the source. The Sicilians raised it and built a church for the Seven, supposedly to symbolize the victory over the gods of victory of the gods over evil sorcery is some such superstitious mumbo-jumbo. Anyway, when the dead rose, that is where they were first spotted, which makes it a likely candidate to house the origin, origin of the outbreak. May my soldiers make it there and back again unscathed. This guy's pretty long-winded. So your main problem is the undead? Bravo! Figured that one out, did you? I haven't been stuck here for two years because we're being besieged by fluffy kittens, you know. 
those brain feasting freaks out there keep on coming and it takes all the sword arms and all of Aru's half-baked contraptions to keep them at bay. Keeping them at bay, that is all we do. Were that I could break their backs once and for all. How are you enjoying Cecile? How am I enjoying it? Are you spoiling for a fight, Hunter? Are you? Cecile stinks of fish, reeks of orcs, and on a good day, the wind disperses the stench of decomposing corpses. I can't remember the last time I had a proper piece of steak, and by now I wretch at the mere sight of sardines. So in conclusion, I am not enjoying Cecile. What, in your opinion, are the orcs doing on the beach? I'd say they are looking for weak spots in our defenses. They can't make it... They can't make an attack over land for fear of Aru's magical machines, so they're trying their luck by sea. They won't succeed, though. Not against the Legion. You mentioned a pact you made with your Legionnaires. So I did. The Pact of Volunteers. Not a single of my men and women wants to remain in Cycille, and frankly, I can't blame them. Which is why I personally sign their transfer orders the moment they make it back from a mission behind enemy lines. The chances of survival during these sorties are about 1 in 10, you see. And that is the reason I don't simply order my legionnaires to go on expeditions any longer. Every soldier can volunteer, and if they are successful, they bought themselves a boat ride home. Aru tells me he suspects a sect might be at work around Cecile. Yes, he also spends most of his time in the guise of a cat licking God's nose. <laughs> licking God's nose what body parts. Sects, sorcerers. We'll be seeing flying carpets next. Alright, let's change the subject. I'd like to ask some additional questions. Looks like everything in here is not mine, so taking it would be bad. I like the precariously stacked books that are swaying in the wind. And I take it this is Aru. Greetings! Oh, talking cat. I guess he likes being a cat more than a man. Oh, cat puns. I guess pollen morphing into a cat has its advantages. <clears throat> he makes a good point that you could not brew potions without opposable thumbs.
if you get stuck. <laughs> Source hunter business. I really don't think it's Esmeralda. One hundred percent legally obtained self regenerating source of destructive magic. Bye. Back again. Yes. I want to see what you have to sell. Oh. So I guess he's basically a skill trainer. cost quite a bit of money. Spider, spider, spider. Self-immolation. Seriously thought it would be comparing it to Scarlet's, but I guess it's not. Bye. Alrighty then. What's around? Oh. 
You know what? Let's save just for posterity's sake. Quick save successful. Bye. Few options available to us now. Oh, there's a waypoint, bleh, waypoint portal up north. So let's go check that out, shall we? <laughs> Ballista. Sprout legs and run away. Well, let's find the tavern then, shall we? house. Thank the seven, we've secured the perimeter. Can you spare a coin? There's a beggar. I don't like beggars. Sorry, sir. Is this a tavern? No. Back at the Legionnaires. Attention! About face! To the barracks! March! Recruits! That was sloppier than Sicilian stew! Again! Excellent. Let's keep it that way. South, Sicile Center. I believe that's where we want to go. Can we go there? Alright, cool. Freezing! Bye! Hmm. <clears throat> Something tells me there's... Ha! Ha! 
evil magic. So Bravo! it is said. Yeah! And this I heard from a ghost who you don't knew, look like someone who's who ever knew been Elliot, serenaded who is said to have known head. Sigurd himself, right that the king up. had a great greeting for color. Until we meet again. Hmm. My word. Fantastic. You there. You don't look like My someone who's ever been Bravo. serenaded Bravo. by a severed head. Step right up. It is said, and this I have heard from a ghost who knew Elba, who knew Elliot, who is said to have known Sigurd himself, that the king had a great thirst for Bye. color. Fantastic. So ardently did he crave creamy blues and gory reds that he ordered a contest across his realm. By the seven, what a tale! Greetings! And his rainbow of war machines. It is said, <laughs> and this I have heard from a ghost who knew, who knew, by the said to have known Sigurd himself, that the king had like a great thirst ever been for power. So ardently did he crave creamy Step blues right and gory up. reds that he ordered bravo, the bravo. Go back and talk to poor Cedric. Back again? Bye! My word. 
Today, I think a king. Back again. The great the Sigurd and his rainbow of Andor. war machines. I think I'm going to go with my reason again. That's what I was going with to begin with. Alright, I'll rock, paper, scissors you for it. Uno. Dos. For that. Poor Cedric. I lost it. Rock, paper, scissors. Bye! Fantastic. The seven one I can try again. And his rainbow of Back machines. again. Bye. Come one, come all, and see the amazing <laughs> singing Stefan. Sai seals only sentient severed head. My word. Ha! Fantastic. Bravo, bravo. My word. It is said, and this I have heard from a ghost who knew, who knew who is said to have known Sigurd himself, that the king had a great thirst. So ardently did he pray by the seven wise heads that he ordered the contest across his realm. Fantastic! Today I think come one, a come king, all and the see great Sigurd and his rainbow of war machine. <laughs> We'll finish exploring. This town for today. Sheep. <laughs> what do you have? Oh my. You have a lot to sell me, don't you? Quite a few scrolls. Edge, a dagger, a spider, head vice. Quite a bit of armor, but I bet I can get him to identify. Yes. Speed and poison resistance. Cool. Teeth. What else do you have? All right, let's talk. OK, 
Okay, so he's a healer. And a crazy one at that. A mysterious healing stone. Interesting indeed. Nothing sets me on edge like inexplicable magic. So, which of you is more deserving oh. of life? Come, make your case. She has a sword that I could use. <sighs> we'll see where this is going first. Have an interesting dilemma here. The one man is pretty young and brave at that, willing to traverse the trade routes, yet the other one is about to retire, has a family, and everyone knows him. decision.
sorry, Stephen. No, thank no. You. This is oh, highly thank annoying. you. What? What just happened? Zigzags? The quill that lasts a billion words? Oh my, who the devil are you? Nothing to trade. I really like the music in this part. You know, I think that imp may be completely, utterly mad. Then we had better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. I'm not altogether sure what's going on here. But I like it. I guess. A giant ethereal black hole, maybe? All right, zigzags. Well, hello there.
so long. You first, you first, but don't dilly dally. Well, I, uh, guess we're. Not in Kansas anymore. That should be a pretty decent place to stop this for the night. Alright. Episode 2 of my Let's Play of Divinity Original Sin. Thanks for watching, guys. decided to play a little bit longer since it seems like nobody else is on Minecraft tonight. I guess we'll see what that uh, portal's all about now. Oh, what strange new world is this? Let us explore. Where on the world are we? We are not on the world at all. This one has a stern look about him, doesn't he? A smile doesn't cost you anything, you know. Pause. A blind spot in the eye of time. Creating time.
The plot thickens. We should tell the imp the weaver's tale. Wax is poetic. Nido. The last chest, the last chest, the last chest. Huh. I take it there will be nothing in any of these vases. Portals everywhere. And braziers that light as I walk. To the first garden. North Gate and continue our search. Bum ba bum bum bum. There's one person watching me. I think it might be myself, though. Hello, person. Yeah, it's just me. Oh, well. Now, where is my pepper? Did it sprout? Pyramid. Town Hall. Cecil's living quarters. All right. again. Bye. Alright, Cecil, I know Greetings. you got something in there. <laughs> the 
Cecil, mayor of Sicil and husband of Cecilia. No, not the wrong hands. <laughs> Sect, Cecil. Sect. Oh my goodness. Bye. A lizard. What nonsense. Is there no new book to be discovered in this library? Meat. I definitely can't understand what you're saying. Omnes omten mali demones gum. in the company of man. What are you? Oh, you're a demon hunter. I don't know, I might like to make some deals with demons later on.
Bye. Oh, good to know that I could always come back and hire him in if I so chose. A brief history of sorcery still hasn't been returned. Thelron will have to pay no, yet another fine. this isn't the grimoire I'm looking for. Is there no new book to be discovered in this library? No new books. I'm sorry. Well. The monology for dumbbells. Ah, I need something more advanced. Greetings. What are you? A man whore, I bid thee. Who are you, madam? Oh, you're a female orc. Quite different than I would have pictured. Bye. Oh. Pseudo Monarchia Demonium. The first edition too. Most promising. Cool. But I bet you there's nothing here. The lesser key of Sadakan. What nonsense. Is there no new book to be discovered in this library? Demonology for dumbbells. Ah! I need something more advanced. All right, now I've gotten myself some scrolls. No, this isn't the grimoire I'm looking for. Mm, the Encyclopedia Demonia. Send all my scrolls to. Girl. Lesser key of Sadakandra. What nonsense! Is there no new book to be discovered in this library? Send it again. This book that does have a propensity for all things. The pseudo monarchy of Demonio. The first edition too. Most promising. Let me make sure I've read all these books. No, this isn't the grimoire I'm looking for. The lesser key of Sadakandras. What nonsense! Is there no new book to be discovered in this library? Ah, uh, requires six decks. I don't think she'll be able to wear that. Subject again! Esmeralda does have a propensity for all things naughty, hasn't she? Oh, neither one of them can wear it. Oh well, I guess I can end up selling that. The monology for dumbbells. Ah, I need something more advanced. Greetings. Bye. Okay. Let's talk to Cecil again, see if he'll let me in his room. Back again. Bye. 
Aha, so there's Cecilia in there. Oh well. Good night, everyone.